Um, I'd rather take my chances in other things, but I'll show it to you. You're like this, and now you just sat back like this. And I'm telling you, taking this hand over, and now this hand before is coming up over the top. And you're like, woof, this is really coming over. And now I gotta decide what I wanna do. Do I wanna try to reattack this arm? Probably you could, but it has to do with the angle. I would prefer it to be down here so that I can see where this hip line is. I'd prefer it to be here if I wanna reattack it. But this is like over the top. And now he's blading up because he knows he's gonna come up on me. And now he's gonna start driving this neckline. You know, uh, and now you can't damp him over and you're aggressively trying to get your hand back. Right, so the reason I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it, but this is what it is. You come like this and he shoots this along and I'm coming out ripping it out like this. This is where we are, okay? And now he's coming up. I'm gonna have you Olympic roll underneath and finish this in a different angle. So you come like this. I'm not a huge fan of it. I always rather be on the outside. I'm not a fan from the inside grip. Um, I just don't like the angle on the outside and how I control this hand to come through. And if I have to run to the back side, I got my hand on the inside. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but I tell you the reasons why, because if you feel like you have it, go for it. And it can be transferred to a, to a, gear, to a, a, a high elbow guillotine. You can transfer this to other spots. I come out and I slide up and I'm like this. Pulling the neck and turning it over this way. Upon landing like this, you don't stop your rotation because I'm going to come to a neck crank before I attack the top side arm. Right? So come back with me when you're like this. So you just rip this hand out. So now I'm going to move it and pull this door. So I'm still doing the same thing. Right? So it's rotating because I'm going to come up and my first grab is that neck because I'll kill his windpipe but then if I don't I'm coming right back up on this arm or I can reattack the neck because I'm still on the chin strap but at a different angle that I can reattach my hands most of the time because how we're going to land on the angle you have to switch it to a 10 finger guillotine I'm not going to go through that today but if you understand how we just landed we landed with him almost like this so your action is to go to a 10 finger on it, right? So we're playing at a different angles. I'm just telling you, I'm not a fan of it, but I do do it, okay? And I do rip out because I do want to get a reaction off that arm. Whether he rip it back or I go underneath, I do want a reaction from this arm because I don't like the place it's sitting right now, right? So you're doing the same exact thing. I'm here like this, right? And I tell you, so now, you can see how the game changes in four inches. Four inches, I move left, right? So if you get good at answering, then you can have the cards to answer that sequence at that moment, right? So you're like this, and now I went like this. Whatever I was, I was here, and he's kind of too quick, and that thing's blading on my face already. And I go, how are you going to do this, right? Because if I come to the guillotine and try to dump him over, he's going to try to dry this thing up. Come back. So, same thing. I was here. And I'm trying to transfer my hands over, and he's coming too quick on his face, and I'm going, well, I better rip this thing out. So now I'm owning it. So now I'm ripping at the neckline the other way. As we come over, I don't stop. I come right back in. So I'm on that chin. You can see where Aether's line is. I try to pull this and aggressively bring my, my elbow to the ceiling. I will kill his windpipe. You can sit back on that guillotine series or I can reattack this arm depending. I would rather if you land and he's like this, that's when you reattack this arm because I'll come to my knee pinch positions. Okay guys, let's part up and try this one. Let's do it perfect, right? Because you just came up and you're like this and he was pulling it. He didn't want to pull this thing back in two seconds, every single time. Because if you're just so heavy and ripping this thing out, it's just awful to feel like that. Because you don't want to pull it back. But it's at the 10 finger. I mean, not the 10 finger, the high elbow. So if your hand position was like this, and he's ripping this thing back, why can't we just attach our hands, slide our kneecap in, sit back with him, and just transfer this over the top, right? So I'm going to ask you, don't put your hands together. If you want your fingers or something, because it's an awful position to drill with your partner. I always hated it, and it would make me furious when my partner would just crank on my throat line. I'm not defending, Okay. What I care about. So if, you, if your partner's okay with it, go ahead. If not, like, be gentle with the throat because 
I really would like to drill um, chokes from all different angles for the next week or two. So we're going to kill our partner's throats it's every time we go aggressive with it. So everything exactly the same, right? So you're here ripping this arm out. He's going to pull that arm back. Let it go. Let it go. The moment it goes back on you, you shoot forward. He's ripping back. I slide through. Okay, so I blocked everything on this side. My hand's right here. I'm attaching and pulling back. I'm going high elbow, throwing over the back. This is where my hand positions are. He can't go on to that, that same position he was before, defending with this over the top. I've blocked this arm. There's nothing. It's a terrible, terrible choke to be in. It's like you got very little, like, no out on that one. Okay, guys, so let's partner up. Let's take another sequence. Let's do it.